Myra Cornejo. She was the woman her family says who was shot and killed by deputies yesterday afternoon. She's so lovable out when she loves to dance and jump around, play with the kids, everything. My sister was a good person. The sheriff's department says it all started with a call about a man with a gun. But when deputies arrived, they say they found a woman with a gun pointed at a man. Deputies say they told her to drop it, and when she didn't, they opened fire, fearing for the man's safety. They say they later learned the woman had fired once at the man before their arrival. My sister would never hurt anyone. Her family tells us that man was Cornejo's husband, and that she had good reason to be afraid of him. They say the two had been together for 17 years, but recent developments had made Cornejo fear for her children's safety. Concerned, she took to police. They say that's what brought her to the Compton gas station. Her husband had a hearing at the courthouse across the street and was released. They believe the couple got into an argument. The sheriff's department could not confirm those details. She always wanted to protect her kids. That's all she cared about, her kids. <laughs> Some of the family members here at the scene have expressed frustration. They say the sheriff's department told them only that Cornejo had been killed, but never said by whom. They tell us they learned that by watching media reports. In the meantime, the sheriff's department tells us it had investigators out here till early this morning and that the circumstances are still under investigation. Live in Compton, Christy Fajardo, CBS2 News. All right, Christy, thank you. We want in the clock back, shall we, to 2014. I remember covering a lot of stories dealing with uh, domestic disputes within families, you know, and uh, it sucks for the children, you know, when it comes down to it, it always sucks for the children. I mean, when it gets to the point where counseling is not good enough for the spouse or the husband to, you know, attend to, if that's not good enough, then there's a breaking point. That means there's no other choice but to separate and divide the family up. You know, point blank, that's just what it is. Yeah, it's sad to see this lady go out like that, this mother rather. You know, evidently she was so fired up and pissed off at the husband that she really wanted to dump on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's ironic that my Aunt Teresa stays like two blocks down from where that McDonald's is and that courthouse is right there in Compton, right off of Willowbrook. She's like down the street. Yeah, it's a trip. <laughs>